because the Earth literally curves away from you as fast as you fall towards it. This is what astronauts in the International Space Station are really doing. They're falling. It's a common misconception that astronauts float around weightless in space because there is no gravity there. But there's plenty of gravity. In fact, there's pretty much the same amount of gravity operating on them that there is operating on you right now while you watch this video. Believe it or not, if we built a tower all the way up to where the International Space Station orbits, 370,000 meters high, and you walked out onto the top of that tower, it would feel kind of like this. You would just be walking around like I'm walking right now. You wouldn't feel that much different, but the International Space Station would be whizzing by at 17,000 miles per hour. It has to because they are falling. So to say that astronauts float around in orbit because they are experiencing zero gravity is very misleading. Really what they are feeling is zero g, where g is acceleration felt as weight. g hurts so good, because gravity's limiting influence ensures that we develop correctly and healthily. After all, it is what we were born to thrive in. So asking what a human would look like if conceived, gestated, delivered, and raised in orbit would look like requires a discussion of weightlessness. Realistically, people building colonies on planets beyond Earth or traveling through space for long periods of time who expected new humans to be born would utilize technology that helped mimic conditions here on Earth. But until artificial gravity is perfected and can be easily implemented, it's important to understand the effect weightlessness has on 